pretty straightforward with that kind of stuff. Orc Paranormia Clerk. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's good. He doesn't. They remove negative quirks whenever you come into the cove and you do stuff like that. This is unfortunately the other side of this where... Yes, please do. Where all of the other guys get to move before me because I'm slow. No. Please have a stress heal, thank you. Crusader is truly a all-around class. It doesn't heal quite as well as the Vestal, or even old cult uh, guy when he manages to actually do his high-end healing. Um, he doesn't heal stress quite as well as Jester does, but he does do a pretty decent job to heal breaks. stress to individual units, I guess. Barnacle Barrier. Lame. That's okay, we'll fix that in a sec. You're dead. How oh, quickly I fixed that problem. There was a problem. Use Barnacle Barrier. I kill the guy. Everything's solved. Another one falls. Please, uh, please to kill. Thank you. Executed with impunity. Impunity, I like that. One more room to go, and then, uh, we will sit down to bonfire. Have a nice drink. We're ignoring that because I need, I need, uh, whatever they call that, uh, healing medicine. You know, the green stuff in a jar with the meta the pistol and mortar. And damage. Keyword slash. Mac. Shoot. That guy died. Mac. Yes, I do go after those guys before I go after the stress dealers because they do damage to the whole party and they are very annoying to deal with. Success so clearly in view. Oh. Or is it a trick of the a light? Trick of the light. What a great line. One campfire later. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Feed all my companions. Healing, healing, stress reduction. Uh, prevents nighttime ambushes. Don't really need that anymore. Buff for my guy. Another buff for my guy. Um, zealous speech. Always good. Uh, takedown plan. <clears throat> and get, and do four of those. Oh, I'm sorry, three of those. The light, the promise of safety. The promise of me killing this boss and ignoring that. Opening this because I've got problems. Nasty gash. That's okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. Hello, sir. We require only the strength to fall. All hands on deck. He summoned dude. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders, and the crew. Obeys. Yes, we are gonna mark you. We are gonna shoot you with my guy who's got increased damage with Mark unit. Pummeling. As does the um as do you. 30 plus damage. 
was not that was not 30% damage. I'm shaking my finger at you game. That's not 30% damage he Wasn't doing seven damage and now he's doing ten damage Nothing better than a fine Fuck you. I gotta get rid of that guy now. He does the old heave-ho and he needs to go away to prevent that guy from continuously healing. He is sort of the opposite, if you will, of the uh, hag, where the hag does not gain HP, but rather your guy takes damage every turn in the pot. This is the opposite, where every turn the guy will not only prevent your one character from moving, but will gain two HP. And they're dead. And we're gonna return the amulet. And we're gonna make more moves. And we're gonna take on another boss here in a second. I think we'll go after the Wine King next. So let's do that here in a sec. horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. So yes, we will be taking on Swine King now. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. Had a village full of meat. A nameless it's both, it's both a, uh... a testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Yep, bottom right hand corner is where we're going. Of course, that also possible as well. So we will go this way because we're going to have to fight a battle regardless. And we'll get all these curios. Let's do that. That requires one of you. Thank you. Finding the stuff is only the that's first a, test. That's a holy now water thing I'm going to ignore. I'm going to go into the treasure room here now. Right off from... Ooh, that guy in the back is a pain in the ass. He's a randomly encountered enemy that's much more powerful than any of the other enemies you're randomly going to run into. However, he does not spawn all the time. He just randomly spawns. Unfortunately, you cannot underestimate him because he does a ton of damage. Decimated. So after you get rid of him, one of the best things you can do is try to get rid of that guy in the back. Because he is a pawn in the boom hole. However, if you want to eliminate the other two, that's also okay. Precision and power. Ideally, if that hue had worked on the f and killed both of them, that would be great. Look at that, 14 damage, isn't that great? The guy's like a, he's like, yep, 20 damage on top of it, yep, we're, we're in the middle of a, a, a run ruining encounter. In a single strike. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of these guys. We also need to heal ourselves, that's good too. You need to die. But you guys need to hit, regardless of who I'm going after. It needs to hit. This need to die. Give them no quarter. Purple them. I love that. Look at that. 6, 10, 11. Some big damage. Plus poison. 11 damage crit. That's big. But the bolt's already on death store. That's great. We're doing, we're doing just superb on this run. You need to die. Please die. The fiend falls. Yes, we are going to be the focusing down on you, blossoms. killing you. 14 damage, great. Isn't that great? And a stun. What makes this guy so difficult is you have to, you want to focus on him. You can't because if you focus too heavily on him, you'll allow the drummer to drum up some major stress. To allow, you know, the other two to do major damage to you. 
25, that's good. That's good damage right there. Let's uh let's get rid of you. Please uh please die. Thank you. Oh, you didn't die. Great. Is he gonna get his turn first? Yeah, you bet your ass he is. On the brink, facing the abyss. Nice. We were able to eliminate him, and I get a little achievement for beating this momentum. some Push sort of special guy in each dungeon, I guess. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, because I need to feed that guy, he needs to heal. Leper can heal himself, I don't care about Leper. But we need to get him and him back up to full life. And I do not have an anti-venom. So we're just going to have to keep pushing forward. Pile of bones, we're going to ignore. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Or we could risk it, I guess. This is good as long as you can cleanse it, which I don't have any cleansing for. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness. Oh no, I do. I'm sorry. Themselves. I do have a cleansing thing for this. Oh, that's nice. I want food, or at least to remove. Perched yeah, the yeah, I know. Of oblivion. Go over here to the other carrier room. He's full, great. Great. Just arms. Okay, we're gonna hopefully focus down on healing here, pity. Oh, sweet, we got a table, so we're gonna get more food here in a sec. But it's gonna be highly dependent on who they target. If they choose to target down my Hound Master, I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna end this run, eventually. However, if I do get the ability to do 12 of the, you know, do a couple of those, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, hound. Wow, only one of the four guys got hit there. That kind of stinks. We need to remove Piggy. Back Piggy and... Line two, Piggy. Yes, please insert more pop. That's another move they kind of nerfed, which is as I push my thumb up and point it towards the screen, is actually a welcome change because what you would do is you'd go the wounds of war one or in more cases than not, you would go double leper and you'd spend the first three, two or three turns just pumping leper up adding 20% damage adding 20 then all of a sudden leper goes nuts and starts doing like 60 damage every hit a good way to eliminate a uh, boss Backyard, buddy. And now the true test. 
Hold fast. Or expire. You know, I wanted a, like 11 HP health there, and you gave me two. Might be because I've got the wrong, um, what is it called? Perks? No, the wrong, uh, wrong items. Christ. I'm guessing he's got the, the stuff I got on him is not great. He probably has like negative 30% healing. Destroy I didn't take a very good look at my um, my relics before I put on them. Put them on, I guess. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. The enemy crumbles. As I crumble, you mean? Please give me more food. And more food is good. All right, we got a 50-50 shot here, so time to use our sit down healing. Very nice. It's a goal without hope. Everybody's looking pretty good right now. Not gonna do that. Pretty good. Seems just okay. Companion gains stress. One companion gains extra 20% damage. I would do that to we'll have to see what happens here. We need Leper to be in excellent condition. You, I should have done this earlier. Okay. And then I think you can use the 20% boost. Accuracy, that's pretty sweet. Pretty fucking sweet. Dark strength, that's always good too. 20% extra damage. You getting the big damage. Oh. The way is lit. The yep. path is clear. Let's do it. We require only the strength to One of these two it. is correct, the other one is wrong. Yep. Doing great already, trapping it up. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Not this room. Try again. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Hi, Piggy. It is a travesty. A blundering mountain of hatred and rage. All we want to do is want to focus down. I, mean, I think I made this mistake on the, the earlier attempts at this. We want to focus down on the swine god. Uh, if we kill Wilbur, it's just going to cause him to do more damage to all my entire party. So what we're going to do, we're going to mark him. We're going to debuff him using um, the all cultist. You are going to make sure that anytime my guys get marked, they get demarked, which helps to reduce the amount of damage that's being dealt to each person. And then we're going to buff you at the beginning so that going forward you can do lots of big damage. Yes, you can stun me like that. That's okay. We're not worried about that. We're con more concerned with this, which is the attack two guys thing. I don't want to deal with. Again, you're gonna. We're gonna use not that, but this weakening curse. We want to make sure that we are weakening him. So that he does lose uh, the amount of damage that he does to each individual person. The match is struck. A blazing okay. star. A less damage born. there. I was hoping for actually less than even that. 72 damage. That's on a crit. That's pretty amazing. Do two more of those. He's dead. Well, not really. 72 more would be 144 roughly. So he would not be dead. But the put is pretty close, anyways. We do want to continue to make sure that he is targeted down because both Houndmaster 
and um, you both get bonuses for that. Not that your job right now is to do that. His, his, his job is more, her job is more or less to clear out the, whenever we get uh, targeted down. We want to avoid hitting him because every time we hit him, Blind God gets another attack, which we don't want. A singular strike. We do need to mark this guy down um, for a um, target again. 17 piece of damage, though, I'm not gonna lie. Plus bleed. She did not get her turn, unfortunately, so I was not able to clear that. I can, however, um, I guess shoot him. I'm not really sure what the right answer here is. I should have targeted down with you and. 30 big damage, always good. He's got another uh, 67 to go, so. Two more of those plus another attack from one of my other three guys, I think we'll be okay. Five is not a great number. That's not a great number. I don't care. You want to target that one down, that's fine. I'm not interested in playing this game. 20 damage, that's okay. Puts her near death door, but that's okay. 26 more damage, you're down to 37, plus bleed. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Yep, target you down. Up to do protection, that's always good. Get those squeal, I don't care about. You know, that'd be nice to have you for healing again. Yep, that's fine. You need to kill him. That was an unfortunate dodge. Please shoot. Alright, that cleared that. 40 damage, you're dead. Now we just have to kill Wilbur. Shouldn't be too hard to get rid of Wilbur. Fortunately, he doesn't... He's gonna use both of his attacks to, um... Attack us now that the uh, swine god's dead. So, it's actually a surprise. Usually, well, usually when you have extra characters on the floor and you kill the main boss, these guys automatically die. But uh, that's okay, as long as uh, he does not do that again to that guy. I think we'll be okay. Yep, even one HP is good. Keeps him off death's door. So if he does squeal. Nobody dies, and you're dead. Hi, Bo Weber. Have a nice life in hell. Alright, let's make some room for some of these futurements. I don't care about the dog food. Alright, everyone's off death's door, so no one can accidentally die on me from accidentally pressing the wrong button. Alright, you go away. Put you down here. That's good. Get rid of that and finish the mission. And right, I'm gonna give a thumbs up. Next time, uh, we're gonna possibly take a dive into the darkest dungeon. More than likely, we'll continue to level up our guys to six, uh, and then hopefully make an attempt at the darkest dungeon here in a turn or two. I remember days. So until the then, hope you guys all have a good one. And laughter could be heard from the tavern. <laughs>